Okay, uh, welcome to our last tutorial of the day, um, Monitor Health Stage. I mean, this is a relatively new group. Uh, we actually have a pretty active number of contributors that have been contributing to this uh, group, but uh, wanted to have give Sarah an opportunity to talk to uh, the community members and potential contributors. So uh, happy to turn things over to you, Sarah, and uh, I'll let you introduce yourself and go from there. Thanks, Ray. Hi, everyone. My name's Sarah Wildner. I'm a, the senior product manager for the health group, which lies within the monitor stage. And so today, I'm going to give a bit of an intro into the health group, where we lie within the GitLab organization, our direction, mission, what we're responsible for, do a high level dive into the categories and areas that we're currently prioritizing and working on, and then tell you how everybody can contribute to our mission. So as I said before, the health group is part of the monitor stage. The monitor stage is actually made up of two groups. We've got the health group, which I lead, and then our other group is the application performance monitoring team. So in a nutshell, the health group at GitLab is responsible for building tools utilized by DevOps teams to triage and remediate errors and IT incidents for systems and applications that they maintain. So essentially, we are building tooling to help streamline and make very simple and efficient all of the processes and workflows that go into reviewing, triaging lists of alerts or errors from systems, which are often very cluttered and noisy. Adding functionality that makes it easy to dig through the craft and come up with what is most important, and then route that to the right person and team, and provide tools to help them collaborate and fix those as quickly as possible to manage and return services that they provide to their customers to meet their service level objectives. So right now, this is a newer group um, within one of the newest stages at GitLab. Monitor is less mature than our create or our plan stage, which has had products in market for about seven years. We've had a lot of our products in market for about two years. So today our mission is to decrease the frequency and severity of IT incidents via tools that allow you to respond really quickly and also make your systems more observable. A Little bit more on where we lie within the GitLab organization. So here's the DevOps loop. Everyone's very familiar with this diagram. We sit in an interesting place. We sit at the end of the DevOps cycle where you feed back into the plan stage. So I think this is really interesting because this is a connection that is not often talked about from an operations perspective. Alert and incident management are actually key to completing this DevOps loop. It is how you identify and learn about system and application problems that you need to fix. And then those improvements to make sure those problems never happen again, we help you feed those back into the plan stage. So the categories that we are responsible for, we've got five overall, some we are actively developing for because we've prioritized them in GitLab universe. And then another one we are aware of and we are gathering market and user feedback so that it's awaiting further demands, so we can prioritize it later in our roadmap. So the places we are actively developing and focusing a lot of our energy are alert and incident management, which are all part of that triage workflow using and learning from your monitoring tools, making your systems more observable so that you can efficiently respond to problems and fix them as quickly as possible. In relation to that, we are also responsible for GitLab's status page, which we just shipped to the minimal maturity in the last couple of months. This is really exciting. The status page is where you can publish details of a GitLab issue to a public URL so that business stakeholders and customer stakeholders can follow along as you manage and track that problem and restore services, and your response teams can remain within GitLab. And then our error tracking product, which we just spent a significant amount of time in the last six months, is based on an integration with the open source tool of Sentry. And we are right now dog fooding that internally, we are measuring usage of that. And while we do not have a roadmap plan for that category in the future, 
we're always excited to accept merge requests to that particular category. And last but not least, digital experience management is one of our categories that is awaiting further demand. Digital experience management is a very broad category. So that's going to encapsulate everything from real user monitoring, synthetic user monitoring, API monitoring, uptime, browser monitoring, everything that has to do with tracking and making sure that the user experience for your application is performing. So it goes much further than your typical errors per second, latency or requests per second, a handful of metrics that you might track from an application performance perspective and takes it to the perspective of the user to make sure that in real time you understand how people are experiencing and interacting with your application. So we've not currently prioritized this, but we're always looking for feedback and engagement. Sarah, a quick question. Sure. Um, sure, right? Some of these features, I mean, are, I, mean, I don't know if there's an easy way to quantify this. Are, I mean, do you, is there a breakdown of uh, like the amount of feature that's in the enterprise edition only versus uh, in, in the free community edition product? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, status page as a whole lies within our ultimate product. So that's for the enterprise. Right. Alert management, incident management, and error tracking all have implementations that are available in the core. Those are all critical to closing the DevOps loop, and we want to provide an experience for teams of all sizes to be able to detect, understand, and remediate IT problems. As we progress those and as those categories mature, we will be adding more to the premium and ultimate levels. But some part of all of those categories, excluding status page, exists in core. Cool. So it so, sounds like a significant portion of it is available in, in the community edition. And yes. Yeah, I was looking at uh, community contributions over the past year or so. I think there was one that was for the enterprise edition, but it looked like the rest of them were um, uh, just available for, for everyone. So. Cool. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much for asking that question. I yeah. think it was really important for everybody to understand that. Um, and then, last but not least, everyone can contribute. I'm sure this has been shared in a bunch of the other tutorials, but searching for issues uh, within GitLab, accepting merge requests, and then the label for group health. And then you can also add on the category labels for a particular area if you are specifically interested in that. And then mentioning me directly on any of those issues and I can answer any of your product and design questions. Yeah, and also we're happy to like have these like assigned to you if you're really interested in working on them, either Sarah or myself at RPAC and uh, happy to help you get uh, partner with the right folks in, in the health team. Yeah. All right, Ray, that's all I have uh, cool. for the tutorial. Can I add anything right. else? Uh, yeah, I was actually going to ask Rajendra and put him on the spot, if that's okay, Rajendra. But I, I know you've, uh, I mean, started making a lot of contributions to the, mon uh, to the health group over the past um, several months. Like, I mean, if you want to share your experience on how you got started, why you were interested in the, in the group, and who you've been working with, I think that would be helpful for um, contributors that might be interested oh uh, yeah okay so i just found out like uh, this is uh, error tracking was at very early stage when i started i think it's still at an early stage we have just integration with sentry and uh, not any other providers like as sarah mentioned we are not uh, investing much time on it so uh, yeah i think i started with adding apis uh, for basic CRUD functions of error tracking settings, getting them, deleting them, changing them. And it was uh, very interesting to work on it from scratch because there was not much code, but there was a lot of help from Peter from the Monitor Stage team. And uh, yeah, to be honest, it was really exciting for me to work on and that's the main reason I started working. Even in the ops call, I think uh, Sisters called out about why are there 
many contributions in the health uh, monitor stage are the numbers first or something something like that so yeah i think that's yeah it was interesting for me to contribute so cool yeah i mean i need want to apologize for i mean you were very proactive in terms of like trying to get in touch with people uh, not just me and sarah but i know you've been working with you mentioned peter and clement and others so uh, i mean i think it's it's a living proof that uh, we have a really I mean, friendly group of people in, in the in the health group team. So if people are interested in uh, working on any of the features or have questions, um, yeah, it should be relatively relatively easy to get started. So definitely want to encourage more people to help out and participate. Yeah, I, I never faced any issue about like not having help or being stuck on in some MR or some issue. Like, I mean, like within a couple of hours, I had some really useful response for the issue, so yeah. Right. Cool. I think we have Sorry, I think you're breaking up a bit there, Rajendra. Can you repeat the last sentence? I was just saying someone has joined too now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like Sashi just joined. Uh, <laughs> Sashi, we're actually like towards sort of the end of the, of the presentation, but I okay. had a problem adding the link to the presentation on the hackathon page for whatever reason. I'll update that, but here's a link uh, that you can Oh yeah, yeah, I just got it. Okay, cool. All right, so cool. Uh, Sarah, anything else that you wanna add or? That's it, thanks, Ray. All right, All right. thank you very much for doing this and um, all right, so we'll wrap things up and uh, we'll, we'll see each other again soon. Cheers.